Hello everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 7. Last vlog, I think I left you off chatting about getting ready to go pick up some Sephora items and that is what I'm doing right now. So I just changed, I'm wearing my new Saison sweater which um, and it just it feels so nice. But yeah, I am getting ready to go out. We're gonna go take a walk and pick some items up. And then, yeah, that's just kind of the plan for today. When I get back, I'm probably gonna do some work. I have my final assignment to submit before I can kind of just breathe <laughs> for Christmas. Um, so it just, that feels really, really good. Um, yeah, so that's kind of the plan for today. Really low key day, I think. Um, but yeah, so let me show you what I'm wearing. <laughs> So I decided to go with my Saison sweater. I have my hair up in a bun just because I feel like this neckline is so beautiful that I just feel like I don't want to hide it with my hair. I also am wearing my little Missouri pearls, which by the way, I am obsessed with. I just, I can't get enough of these little pearls. They look so classy and you think they'd be dressy, but they honestly do really, really well when you're wearing casual outfits. And so I just paired my sweater with my Zara jeans. These are some of the best jeans I've honestly ever owned. I am not a denim person. I, I would always choose trousers <laughs> over denim, but I just find these jeans to be so comfortable and so flattering. Like I'm short and I think these are such a good length. I did not have to get them hemmed or anything. And then of course I'm wearing my um, Nordgreen watch and of course all of my necklaces are just here. I actually added today my pearls also from Missouri and then I just stacked my Tiffany diamond necklace, my Missouri diamond necklace, and then the pearls. And I just think it's such a good look. I know no one's gonna see them, but I'll see them. <laughs> so yeah, I am also gonna add my plaza coat on top of this, white sneakers, and then a scarf just because it's that time of season. Scarfs are out now. So I am just going to wear that. And I've also really been enjoying wearing my burgundy Pauline bag when I have really neutral tones kind of on me. I just feel like it adds such a beautiful pop of color and it's such a fall winter color anyways. So that's probably what I'm going to wear. But I will, of course, show you before I leave the house, of course. We know. And I will also link this whole outfit down below. Unfortunately, the sweater is no longer available. But I found you a dupe. I found you a dupe. Yes, I did. And it's not identical. Obviously, it's actually from Zara and I'm really excited, but I will link it down below for you guys because it is really, really similar. It just it gave me the same kind of classic, beautiful vibes. And I was really excited when I saw it because I was like, you ladies are gonna love it. <laughs> so anyways, enough of me chatting. I'm gonna get my coat and bags and get ready to go because I'm really excited to go pick up this stuff at Sephora. All right, I am ready and I'll cozy it up. I'm wearing this Aritzia wool scarf. I've got my jeans and sweater underneath. I'm wearing my plaza coat and of course sneakers, but I will be bringing mitts just to make sure I'm staying warm. But I'm gonna make a pit stop at Sephora, pick my items up, and then I'm gonna go get hot chocolate. So yeah. White outside, and the night is cold. Everyone's lighting candles in the hot chocolate is secured, and it's, yes, it's Christmas. so good. So, we're gonna get some food and then head home. It's a magic time, you can feel it in the air. And every child. Hello everyone, so I just got back. We ended up going to get hot chocolate and it's funny because in a previous video I had said that one of my favorite hot chocolate places was Soma Chocolatier and I had like completely made up that name. It's not Soma Chocolatier, it's Soma Chocolate Maker. Not sure where I got the chocolatier from, um, but it is one of my favorite places to get hot chocolate, especially in the city. I just think it's so, so good. Um, but right now I wanted to show you the things that I got from Sephora. I also, since I stopped at Kensington Market in Toronto, Kensington Market is kind of like, it's a little area in Toronto where they sell a lot of, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just a very kind of totally different space. They have, um, a lot of like vegan places, um, 
a lot of thrift shops it's just a really wonderful area in toronto if you're ever ever visiting toronto in the future i think kensington market is a must go to um it's just such a lovely place i personally love it there and um they have loads of amazing food places um and from all different types of cultures so um but anyways whilst i was walking there i found some flowers so i picked them up i just thought this color is gorgeous it actually is very similar to the color of my pauline handbag and i just thought it's kind of festive you know it's like those kind of a reddish burgundy tones and i just thought i would put them in a vase and put them on my counter just because i think they're so beautiful and they were 7.99 so well priced and yeah so anyways i want to do this put this in water put that on my counter and then i'll show you the sephora stuff but yeah let's do that the flowers and i just think this color is so so beautiful i just i love it and i think it's so festive but still just so classy and beautiful um these are mums by the way so yeah i'm gonna put these here so beautiful oh i love it so so much it just brings me so much joy all right and while i'm here i thought i may as well show you what i got at sephora i like i said i was ordering my ren skincare run clean skincare this is the ready steady glow daily aha tonic again i've been using this for quite some time now i've gone through two of the tiny bottles they were actually like free um like the little bottles you can get with your sephora points and i had bought one i loved it so i got another one with my points and then at that point i was like i need to buy it it's just i don't actually want to go a day without this product so I did buy the big bottle like I mentioned in my last vlog and the cool thing about the bigger bottle that you don't get with the 100ml bottle is that it comes with a pump so you essentially can just put your um, cotton um, kind of cotton pad on there and just press down and it'll apply it. So that's the first thing that I got. The other product that I got like I said was the um, eyeshadow crayon pencil. So this is the uh, Charlotte Tilbury color morphing eyeshadow pencil and i got it in the color what color did i get this in i think it was let me see so i got this in the color amber haze and it's supposedly made for brown eyes this is something that i noticed when i went to buy this is that the different kind of colors kind of corresponded with um your eye color so they did have like a color for blue eyes and for hazel eyes um unintentionally i'm like i did pick the one that was meant for brown eyes but i didn't pick it because it was meant for brown eyes i actually just like this color because i actually like my eyeshadow to match my bronzer and this is going to sound silly because i use my bronzer as my eyeshadow but i just like that like cohesive look where it's like is it makeup or is she just like glowing because she came off the beach type look so i picked this one up and um it is just kind of like a gold color. I'm just worried that it's going to be a little bit too brown. I do like a more like bronzy color. It's not really blending too much either. Maybe it's just cold because it was. I just came from outside. But that's what I got. And those are the two things that I got. So I'm going to give this a try and see how it kind of works out. It wasn't overly cheap. I think it was like 30 something dollars, almost 40. So yeah, I'll give it a try and see. I know there's so many different brands that do this type of stuff, but this one was the one that kind of caught my attention. It just looked, it looked nice on the website. Not the packaging, just the actual like color and um, look on the model on the website. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna give it a try and see how that turns out but um and the other one the rest of the stuff was just samples but i think right now we are gonna make a gingerbread house um, which is really exciting 
um, gingerbread houses is just such a fun thing to do. I think at any age, really. I honestly never really eat them. I just love decorating them. I think it's so much fun. So we're going to clear off the table and we're going to bring the gingerbread house. I actually think because we went to Costco and I actually think what we bought was a gingerbread mansion, not a gingerbread house. So I feel like this could be a lot more work than we bargained for, um, but I still think it's going to be loads of fun and yeah, I think it's just a fun festive thing to do really no matter how old you are. So yeah, I am going to get all that ready and oh, you guys, I'm so excited for this. You have no idea. Like... I'm just so excited for this. <laughs> um, I am just, I love this brand so much. You have no idea. Um, yeah, so that's the plan. But yeah, let's go get the gingerbread house ready. Okay, so I just quickly brought you into the bathroom because I'm really curious to try this out. So I'm going to try this new um, eyeshadow pencil out. I'm a little skeptical. I already have... Um, bronzer on but how do you even do you have to sharpen this oh i hope you don't have to sharpen this that's that that would be annoying i think you do mm. not a fan of that oh oh that's not looking good how do you work this thing Does it look like I have a bruised eye? I feel like it does. It's looking a little muddy. Mm. Guys, I don't know. It's also like really hard to blend in. What do you think? Mm. I don't know. I'm kind of unsure about that. Hmm. Let me try the other eye. Maybe it's still cold from outside. Like maybe it's not supposed to be. You know what? I'm gonna use a brush to blend it out. See if that makes a difference. I made it worse. Oh my god. Okay, at the moment, I'm not sure about this. It's white outside And the night is cold Everyone's lighting candles in their homes yes it's christmas it's a magic time you can feel it in the air that every child got their hearts filled up with joy yes it's christmas Snow is falling down, all the colored lights lighting up this town. And as I walk outside, hear the Christmas choir sing, Merry Christmas to you. This time of year is a time to cheer. Let our love ones, our family and friends have a Christmas with so much love and with joy and laughter. The gingerbread house, I guess, came built, so I guess all we have to do is decorate it, which honestly, I'm not mad about. Um, but we have this little chimney to make. There's some trees and gingerbread men. We have some toppings here and here, and then <laughs> more toppings and icing here. So yeah, my job is to get this guy looking beautiful. This town. 
And as I walk outside, hear the Christmas choir sing Merry Christmas to you Hello, it is now bedtime. I have done my skincare. I used my Ren um, toner, my Estee Lauder, um, I think it's the Advanced Night Repair, and then of course my Clinique Moisture Surge uh, Moisturizer. But it has been a long day and I am now ready for bed. I've tidied up the living room. My kitchen is tidied. You can see my robes over there because I always get so, so cold. Um, but I'm going to shut off all the candles and just get into bed because it is going to be an early day for me tomorrow. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.